Let's look at the tail of the tape between Javier Garcia and Dante Stubbs. Tail of the tape, Javier Garcia is 1-0. He's uh, two years older than Dante, and uh, they got the same height, uh, same height advantage same height advantage and a one inch reach advantage. That is our opening bout for Combate 11. Our ring announcer for tonight, the one and only Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros from the Burbank Convention Center, Burbank, California. This is, esto es, Combate America. This bout set for just as a three rounds in the lightweight division. Este duelo, pactado a tres vueltas en la división peso ligero. The judges are, los jueces son, Chris Crail, Ron McCarthy, and Jackie Denkin. The man in charge, el encargado, referee Herb Dean. Introducing the blue corner, presentando a la esquina azul, vestido de rojo, con vivos negros, wearing red with black trim. He weighed in at an official 155 pounds at Tuba La Bascula, a un peso oficial de 155 libras. After entering La Jaula four times as a pro, he maintains a record of three victories against one lone defeat. Después de entrar a La Jaula cuatro veces a nivel profesional, mantiene un record de tres victorias y solo una derrota. Representing Riverside, California, Dante Alexander the Great. In the red corner, in the esquina roja, vestido de color negro, he steps in wearing the solid red trunks. He tipped the scales at an identical 155 pounds at Tubula Bascula, a un peso idéntico de 155 libras. En su segundo combate en la jaula, con una victoria y un knockout, he enters la jaula for the second time as a pro with one victory and one KO. Rip in Covina, California, Javier. Habanero Garcia. Interrupt. Dante. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to have a clean fight. Touch gloves and let's do this. Third man in the ring, Herb Dean. And there you see Javier Garcia from nearby Covina, California. Has a lot of fans in attendance. They are loud early as we get ready to go in our opening bout of Combate 11. Ready to fight. Ready. Let's do it. I know that Javier is going to come out quick. He wants this finish in the first round. He said he wants to collect that $2,000 that Campbell McLaren promised all the fighters for a finish. That is right. Before the weigh-in yesterday, Campbell McLaren, the founder of Combate, just said, you know what? 2000 if you finish your fight. At Combate 10 in Mexico City, nine out of the 10 fights were finished. Yeah, that's awesome. I know that that's a very big incentive for the fighters to finish hard. They want that money. Nice inside single, and oh, those are bad. Nice clinch work by Javier. He wants to uh, take away Dante's striking. Dante's been fighting since he was 16 years old. He's a very skilled boxer, and uh, Javier mentioned he didn't want to let this guy get any of his striking off, wanted to close the distance early. And you see there, he's got a big S at CSW on the bottom of his shorts. Stop, stop, stop. What happened there? Let's Herb see. stepped in. Oh, he a downward elbow and you grab the fist. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So do so, not do a downward elbow. Do not hit with the back of the head. Do not grab the fist. <laughs> okay. You know, it's funny. Herb goes over these rules with the fighters before the fight starts, but sometimes they just get so excited in there. He's going to deduct a point, which I think is fair. He elbowed him into the back of the head. He held onto the fence, and uh, he's also striking in the back of the head. So that's three fouls in about, you know, 10 seconds. They're going to start right back in the single leg position. And like I was saying, Javier has uh, been training with Eric Paulson, who is an amazing, amazing catch wrestler, um, and uh, he's a great coach. So. I know that he's going to be looking for the submission right away in the first round. Dante Stubbs in the red. This is his professional debut, 3 and 1 as an amateur. He is a Navy vet. <laughs> Navy vet. Yeah, Dante was going for the armbar there, but it was on the wrong side, and uh, it, it ended up getting him mounted. Garcia on top, the fighter from Charter Oak High School, wrestled in college. He was actually uh, a mariachi uh, singer. They're going to stop the fight one more time. <laughs> 
strikes. Uh, illegal oh, strikes, I'm going to guess. Oh, you Straight do one for me, I'm going to give one for you. Straight up and down. Start. You lose the position. Herb's busy here in the first round. All right, it's, let's continue back to action. So this is where Dante is going to be the most strongest. He's got a lot of boxing experience. He's been boxing since uh, he was 16 years old, and um, he's got some great striking. Javier knows this. Javier wants to close the distance right away. He's going in for that nice single leg again, and it works. It's effective. It's drop on his back is Stubbs. Garcia, you mentioned the mariachi. He shows up to the weigh-in in a mariachi outfit. I thought it was a gimmick. He's like, nah, I'm a singer. Play the biruela. Mariachi Herencia de Mexico, the family business. He no longer performs. He now is his own meal prep service. So if you're trying to get it cut weight, this is the dude you come call. Definitely. I really like the way that Javier crashed the distance. He was uh, not trying to, to get involved in uh, Dante striking at all. And it looks like uh, Dante's a little bit stuck here. Let's see if he can uh, get an underhook and uh, hit a single leg or maybe get back to his feet. Garcia with the wrestling background. Big, massive elbow yep. by Javier. That one hurt. Looks like it cut a little bit as well. Yeah, there's some blood out of the face of Stubbs. Javier Habanero Garcia. He's in the black. Training out of uh, Eric Paulson's gym, CSW. He's got some great groundwork over there and great submission wrestling over at CSW. Oh, he got too too excited. Got rolled out of mouth. That is like one thing that you do not want to do is lose your position once you're in mouth. There's not a more terrible feeling in there when you get rolled out of mouth. How do you come out of that? I, 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 you just said it's a terrible feeling. You're like, damn it, what'd I do here? Yeah, you, you need to get an underhook, get the single leg, or you know, take the tabletop away. Take one of their arms, trap it, roll over your head. Dante Stubbs started competing in the military. Got out of the Navy last year. Dante really wants to uh, use his power here and, and try to knock knock him out with some heavy punches. But uh, let's see if he's going to try to go for the arm bar again on the wrong side. And uh, once again, he's going to pay for it. Javier in side control here. Javier with some blood on his face. I think it's uh, Dante's, it Dante's blood. Yeah. Nice neon belly. He's going to go for the arm bar there. Going nice for it. Nice transition gonna get back up on top. Front head drop position. Good Taking up. the back, nice job. Maybe he can sink in a rear naked choke from here is what I would try to do. He's, he's listening, Juliana Pena. He's getting those hooks in. He's, he's listening. Doing a good job. He's getting a good job. Unfortunately, he only has 10 seconds left, so uh, let's see if he can get that short choke. Herb Dean right there looking. Nope, he don't have it. It's going into round two there, Beto. Good opening round between Javier Garcia and Dante Stubbs. And a fired up crowd here in Los Angeles for Combate 11. Combate America is giving you guys a lot of experience, a bigger platform. Yeah, you might see a lot of ref interference tonight, uh, you know, and I think that plays into the part that there is a lot of experience here. It was a big uppercut thrown by Dante. Swing and a miss. That's got to be like some nerves too, though, right? right? Nice flying knee and another uppercut. It, it literally kind of looks like it's rocking Javier a little bit. This is where Javi, uh, Dante's going to be the strongest is in the stand-up with his boxing. He's got big, heavy punches, and Javier said that he's been training with a lot of people that are bigger than him in order to train for this fight. He's been knowing about this fight for about two months, and uh, he's been uh, training with a lot of bigger guys so that he could prepare for Dante and his big power punches. Oh, he ate a knee on the way in there. That was freaking rough. But uh, he's going for the single leg yet again. He's going for the oh. takedown. Garcia in the black. He's got that double. He can turn the corner on this and get uh, Dante's shoulders on the mat. He does it, that's two. Takedown. And right into mount with that. Nice elbows, he's very effective with those elbows. Nice ground and pound by Javier. You can see the difference in a fighter who's wrestled and has some jiu-jitsu background in Garcia compared to the fighter like Stubbs who's making his pro debut and really new to the sport. Pro debut and, and uh, He's feeling it in there. I don't know why he's kneeing Javier's uh, thigh. I don't really think that that's that effective. He did turn to give his back, and, and uh, Javier looked for uh, the opportunity to get that rear naked choke in, but he did the smart thing and turned back onto his shoulders, shoulder blades, both shoulder blades on the mat. Stubbs was a boxer in the Navy, on the Navy oh. boxing team, and now he's eating elbows. Dude, that elbow was Another seriously one. right in his eyeball socket. That was nasty. Welcome to the big leagues. Yes, and gets exactly. dropped. Javier Garcia, a college student at University of Laverne, balancing full-time load and 
training and looking good here in the second round against Dante Stubbs, this, controlling this round. Yeah, he's really controlling the round. And, and you know what? He's got a lot of time. He's got three minutes left. I think that he should just seriously take his time as much as possible. He got rolled. And he foul. didn't listen. Again. Listen to Juliana right now. That's <laughs> no, what you got to do. No, no. This is a point for uh, Stubbs to turn the fight around. He is in full control here. He is in his guard. I don't think he wants to pass. If I were him, I would just try to punch his face off as much as possible. But you got to be careful there, especially with these guys that are tricky on their back. You might get caught in an arm bar. Would you look at that? It's possible, folks. It is. That's what he's going possible. for? No, no, he's not oh. going for it, but I was just. <laughs> I was like, wait, I was like, you're seeing something I'm not like. <laughs> maybe referencing my own mistakes. Oh, we're going there. Yeah, exactly. We, well, I just wanted to touch on it real quick. If uh, I was Stubbs, though, I would definitely be trying to uh, pass Javier's guard. His, his guard is wide open, yeah. but uh, Stubbs is not a ground fighter. He's not a big jiu-jitsu guy, so he probably is not aware that uh, he could pass at any time. Well, if the fighter knows that we get weaknesses for Stubbs, jiu-jitsu. Yeah, but he is on top. If yep. he can, uh, there he goes. He's going for the pass. That's perfect, beautiful. Now if he could just control his position here. Javier is holding on to the head. I wish he would get an underhook and go out the side of the side door there. How do you do that if you're Javier? If you're Javier, you let go of the head. There's the, the headlock's not going to work for you. He's almost got it. He's almost got it. Get to your side. Yeah, it's it's tough. You know, he's got his uh, left arm trapped underneath uh, Dante's uh, arm there. So, and he's holding on to him. He's just trying to roll him out of mount, take that tabletop leg away, and. and um, Garcia. Not as effective. I guarantee you Stubbs feels really heavy, especially from being controlled that whole time. But luckily, he got rolled out of mount. These guys are awesome. And uh, Javier's back on top again. And you hear the big ovation. A lot of people making the 45-minute drive west to come see their fighter, Javier Garcia. A minute to go in the second round. Scheduled for three in Combate 11. At this point, you just got to give it all you got, let it rain. But at the same time, be very smart. Bloody face for Stubbs. And nice. some elbows earlier, nice. covering up. Nice ground and pound by Javier. These guys look tired. Leaning on each other, laying on each other most of the round. That There's an arm bar! Ah! Hardeen right on top of it. Man, this is a... Uh, am, right uh, am I living in a, uh, hmm, how do you say? Deja vu? Deja vu? All over again, yes. as Yogi Berra would say. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. He's crossing his feet. He's bellied out. He's going for it. He's going for it. <laughs> oh, but he's out. Nice job by Javier. He was nice and patient. I just don't think that uh, Stubbs has the, the jujitsu to, to pull a move off like that right now at this time. And, and luckily, saved by the bell. Javier Garcia right there on your screen. Getting the hair braided earlier this afternoon. Taking on Dante Stubbs. Making his pro debut, Stubbs from Riverside, California. Married, expecting his first son on the way. Big, Big swing overhand. And a miss. Oh, yeah. Big overhand. He's going for the takedown. Going for the single leg on the inside. He got the takedown. If he can get his uh, arm and head out of uh, Javier's legs, he'd be a lot better off. Maybe uh, Javier can flip up some inverted triangle or something like that. That'd be awesome. He's going to try to flip him over, it looks like. Yep, he is going for it. There's an inverted triangle right there. I like it. That looks tight. If he, oh, that looks tight. Tight enough? Uh, almost. If you could recognize his position. Oh, Dante's out. Oh, but nice way to crawl back up on top. He can go for a, nope, not going for a Kimura. Going for the rear naked choke. Looks like a little bit of a short choke. That's in. There it is. There it is, and it is over. Rear naked choke, ladies and gentlemen. He's going, he, he, he did what he said. He didn't get that yep. uh, submission in the first round, but he got it in the third, and a win is a win. He got the finish. He's getting that $2,000 for Campbell McClare. Nice job. And yeah, we have a lot of fights coming your way, working towards the main event of Danny Ramirez and Eric Gonzalez. There you see the highlights from Javier Garcia. He comes from a mariachi family. He's a singer, plays the viruela. Hey. <laughs> You, you would have loved this, Alberto. Shows up. Come on, you saw him at the, at the way in in the mariachi outfit. Oh, yeah, you you got to have style. You got to get the estilo. Amigo, if you're a mariachi, you got to love it. Yeah, you, you got to go talk to Habanero School. You got you to market it, baby, man. Tiene que vender. You see, he wants that money. It's a rear naked choke, forcing their opponent to tap out with an official time. 
of 58 seconds of the third round. Damas y caballeros, la esquina roja aplica un estrangulamiento, mata a León, obligando a su rival a rendirse con un tiempo oficial de 58 segundos del tercer episodio. El vencedor por su misión, your winner, by way of submission, el Habanero, Javier García. Good job. Good job. His Instagram is Habanero Javi. Go and check it out. He's now 2-0.